Hi, I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to run through Sports Bike Shop's five best budget waterproof textile jackets. Now, this is a bit tricky because the word budget means something different to everybody. I've set the upper limit at 300 pounds, but the jackets we're featuring here range in price from 100 quid up to 270 quid. What they all have in common is that they use a waterproof drop liner to keep you dry. And that's bike jargon for a jacket with the waterproof membrane fixed loosely inside the jacket. You can't remove it, but it does sit separately from the outer shell. Drop liner jackets aren't the best solution in persistent heavy rain or in high temperatures, but they are good for the conditions we get in most of the time in Northern Europe. Following jackets have all been chosen based on a combination of feedback from customers and also from our own experience. If we have a more detailed review of any of these jackets, you'll find a link to that in the description below, where there are also links to the product listings on Sports Bike Shop. Okay, let's get into it. The RST Alpha 5 has a list price of £99.99 .99 as we record this, but owners say it offers a lot for that money. The outer is the same material RST use in their pricier jackets, and the Alpha 5's AA CE Safety Pass is the highest in this guide. The rest of the jackets are all single A. Fit adjusters come at biceps and waist. There's a removable thermal gilet, and there's armor for the shoulders and elbows that meets the basic CE Level 1. It's £25 for an RST Level 1 back protector, but a link in the description takes you to a Level 2 insert from DXR that fits, and it's only £16. Customers have given an average rating of 4.8 from the first 51 reviews, and criticism is very mild. Some say the sleeves are a bit long, I agree, they are, and some others say their arms get cold as the thermal liner doesn't cover them. But everything else about this jacket is all positive, including saying the sizing is accurate. The men's Alpha 5 is available in sizes from 40 to 54 inches, and there's a women's version that comes in sizes from 8 through to 20. The spec sheet doesn't give away the fact this Risha axle jacket has a list price of just £110 as we record this. You get vents front and back, there are twin fit adjusters on each sleeve and there are also waist adjuster belts. The shoulder and elbow armour is rated to the higher level 2 in CE, though a back protector is a £40 add-on and that is relatively steep. The overall single A CE rating is the most basic pass but it's in keeping with most jackets of a similar price and four of the jackets in this video are all single A. The removable thermal liner covers the arms and the body with this one and there are three internal pockets alongside the two that you get on the outside. Customers are very positive about the axle giving an average rating of 4.9 from the first 13 reviews. Many suggest going up a size which does seem to me to be good advice but there's a good feeling about the warmth especially from the axle and also for the overall value for money. Sizes run from a 38 inch chest to 58 inches at the chest for men and from sizes 10 up to 26 for women. Now it's quite a jump up in price to the £180 Oxford Montreal 4 but it is easy to see where the extra money's gone. There's a hook back for the collar closure, exterior pockets are now pleated for extra room, the shoulders and elbows are reinforced with ripstop and you get elastic loops to hold the vents open as well. The cuffs are now two-way zips with vents and the overall feel is classy. The full sleeve thermal liner also feels thicker and the waist belts are a step up in quality. Shoulder and elbow armour, that meets the basic level one of CE and it's £22 to add a level one back protector or £30 for a better level two insert. Owner feedback is very positive with a 4.8 average rating from the first 21 reviews and there's also a best buy award from kit review specialists ride. Owners also say the fit is true to size. The Montreal 4 comes in sizes from S to 5XL, which is a range from 38 inches to 54 inches at the chest. There's no woman's version of this jacket available though. This Revit Voltiac 3 doesn't earn its place in this video based on customer feedback. This one's my personal pick. On the surface, it lacks the specification to justify a £240 price tag, but I wore one of these in 2023 and it's a jacket that I just found myself coming back to a lot. I found it to be a simple, honest jacket that just works well. The outer is reinforced with ripstop at shoulders and elbows. The waist adjuster is a slider belt and the collar fastener is adjustable. It's also got a snap back as well. Air vents are well positioned. There's a handy chest pocket and the Napoleon pocket on the inside is easy to get to as well, which is something that I like. Having ridden in this jacket in some horrible rain a few times, I can also personally attest to the waterproofing performance on this one. And the full sleeve thermal liner I also found to be very warm as well. The overall safety rating is single A, like most jackets here, and the shoulder and elbow armour meets the basic level one of CE. Adding a back protector means a bit of a jump as one of those is £47. The Voltiac 3 comes in four colours and sizes from 40 to 52 inches at the chest. The women's version comes in three colours in sizes 6 to 18. And last but not least, the Alpine Stars Andes V3. 
It's the priciest of the five jackets here, but you can see where the money's gone as the build quality is high and the feature list is comprehensive. There are twin fit adjusters on each sleeve. There are classy belts for waist cinching. There's a collar hook back and deep pockets as well as more vents than on the other jackets here. And two of those vents as well are direct air vents. So there's no membrane blocking those. The removable thermal liner's also got a flap that protects the area behind the zip. The overall CE rating is single A and armor at the shoulders and elbows meets the basic level one. A back protector insert could cost you up to 60 pounds though. Customers love the Andes V3, giving it an average rating of 4.9 from the first 88 reviews. Owners do suggest going a size up and they also say the collar hook back isn't ideally positioned. I concur on both of those points, but overall this is a very good jacket. The Andes V3 comes in sizes from small to 4XL in all six colors and up to 6XL in plain black. A stellar ladies version comes in three colors in sizes from six to 6. Okay, so if you want something that lets you splash around in the rain without splashing the cash, those are our five top picks. The final decision really comes down to what you need a jacket for. If you don't ride in winter, the RST Alpha 5 is a fine entry level choice and its double A CE safety rating is the highest level here. If you do ride year round, then I'd say the Risha Axle's extra warmth is worth the extra tenor over the RST. The Oxford Montreal 4 possibly offers the best value of the lot. Its feature list is right up there with the Voltiac 3 and the Alpine Stars Andes V3, but it's 60 quid cheaper than the Revit and 90 quid cheaper than the Andes. I think those top two jackets are probably the best quality here, although the higher price tag means you probably should expect that. The Voltiac 3 just feels classy and comfortable for me, while the Andes direct venting is innovative and it's a real bonus over the other jackets in this list. Wherever you end up putting your money, whether it's one of these five or something else entirely, I hope you find the jacket that keeps you dry, keeps you comfortable and makes you happy. As ever with our videos, I hope this has covered everything for you, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.